So we're going to be cutting into the existing concrete pad, setting the plumbing in, and then sealing that before we put in the self-leveling layer that joins these two rooms finally. I need to know where the bath is going to be, where the basin is going to be, where the toilet is going to be, and all of that is different because these walls are not going to be like this. I've measured here, we've got 80 mil for the insulation, uh, 12 mil for the plasterboard, and then about 15 mil for the tile and the adhesive that's going to go on the top. And I can tuck this in here and see that the bath is just the right spot. I know that the drain is in the right place. Why are we doing it in this order? Why aren't we doing the walls first and then you know exactly where? If we do the walls first, um, the insulated plasterboard is supposed to have a gap at the bottom of it. It's not supposed to be like set into a concrete floor. Uh, it's supposed to be elevated slightly. So because of the type of walls that we're doing, um, this is the order that we have to do it in. I just trust Jack completely that he knows what he's doing. I have cleared out the room here. Now this is the space that will be our bathroom and over here our kitchen. The very first thing that I need to do is bring in an additional access here to the mains waste which is right out through that wall. Once that's in I'm then going to be able to map all of this stuff out very accurately uh, thanks to Rebecca's sketch that she did with everything to scale uh, and exactly where it will be. I uh, do a lot of research on plumbing fixtures and methods and all of that so I finally feel ready. We are going to start cutting into this concrete so that we can get that initial connection out through the wall. It's really hard getting down in that hole with the hammer drill because obviously it's quite a narrow space um, and there's an existing waste pipe in there that I really don't want to break. So I'm being really careful and I'm making steady progress. Okay, I got carried away, and the bit is now wedged in there. Pretty bloody firmly, actually. A few moments later. <sighs> She's free! Alright, we can carry on. That's through! That's through! That's through! Hey! That's the handshake we've all been waiting for! So you've been doing stuff. I have, yeah, yeah. I have done another another round of demolition. Um, so we've got a big hole in the floor, big hole in the wall, which is great. Uh, I've just done the dry fit for the exterior piping, and it's looking good. But this channel is coming up here to the sink. Uh, there's going to be a 90 degree cut into it here. That's what that T was for. Uh, for the bathtub, we're going to have coming down at a nice clean 45. The uh, plumbing for the washing machine, and then over here. We have the last spot, which is the drain for the sink and the dishwasher are coming down in here. Nothing is going to be glued in until it is all cut and all laid out, and I have the right gradients on everything um, because, you know, it can't be too steep, can't be too shallow. Uh, but I am going to get this outside bit glued in so that we can patch up the hole in the wall. <laughs> this is by far the scariest thing I've done recently. Using Sharpie. <laughs> <laughs> you know those Sharpies, they're permanent marker. That's terrifying. No, about to cut into here. Should anything go wrong, I have to fix our main drainage as well. And I don't really want to do that. I've got this set very slow. Huh? And we're just going to take it easy. We did it! It worked! There's a hole that's in the right place and it's the right size and there's no poos coming out of it. Yeah, Baba? No, no poos coming out. taking a wee break from the plumbing to go to a Halloween party in probably the world's most fitting outfit right now. It's a me! This morning we're going to pick up a kitchen that I found on Le Bon Quan. It's an old oak kitchen. 
Um, I'm not sure if the size of it is enough for what we have planned, but I've seen a couple come up over time that is the same design. So I think it was, um, I think we'll be able to find another kitchen if we um, don't have enough pieces. The guy I'm speaking to is like, bring tools. So I think we have to dismantle it. Hopefully this is good. <laughs> this is our whole experience renovating. It's just like crossing fingers. I know this house. Um, I saw it for sale. And I always thought maybe we should buy this one instead of a huge renovation project. Before it closes, but I've come prepared with my big old list. Got everything you need to get the job done. I think so. There's only one way to find out. It's definitely the most plumbing I've ever done, so I've never planned a job this far in advance and measured out everything before. Do you want to tell them about the last time you did plumbing? No. <laughs> no, we don't talk about the last time I did plumbing. <laughs> Absolutely wrecked, and I don't want to like blow all of this in now and make a mistake. Okay. So I need to go eat something. You can do it tonight, can't you? Yeah, yeah, I'll still do it tonight. Just... You do it tonight, can't you? Yeah. You can go, Jack, don't stop. No, I just, yeah. The most important thing is that you don't ever take a break. Yeah. Um, oh, wow. What are we doing for dinner? What are you making? Um, big thing. I'm not actually going to make Jack make dinner and we're not going to get BK because we've all been sick and we need real food. It's like jumper weather, we put the heat pump on. So I'm thinking a curry, a curry, a naan bread. That's what we need. Curry, naan, vitamin juice. <laughs> so good. Better than BK? Definitely, yeah. So we're just about to leave for Emo's, which is like one of our favourite places in France. It's a huge charity secondhand shop. I want to look at um, bathroom fixtures, taps, and stuff. Maybe there'll be some brass, like old taps. What's on your list? I don't know, I was going to check out the tools. Go right on time for the starting gun. We've got to queue up and then on the dot at 10 a.m. everyone will run in. Except we, we try play a bit cool, don't we? I don't know about you, i got my running shoes on. <laughs> yeah, you do. Let's go! Let's go, let's go. They're running, they're running! I always want to know what they're running to. Like, I need to follow them one day. Like, oh, there's all the good stuff. <laughs> They know something I don't. It's taps. It's just exclusively brass taps. Yeah. Well, made in Italy. That's for me. Ooh. Oh, if only we didn't have three children and <laughs> we could get nice fluffy cream couches. <gasps> that's so nice. Oh, it's not very comfy. Oh, that's good. Who would put 
this one at first. <laughs> So how did we go today? Good. What? Good. <laughs> uh, mildly successful? It was fun. It's always fun. We got one thing on the list. 60 bucks worth of stuff. Three bags full. <laughs> yeah. They always get our money. <laughs> we got books, we got jumpers, yep. we got... Like even got a cashmere jumper. I know. Oh. I even got a jumper. We got fabric. That's cool, got some nice linen. Yeah, I always buy that. And shoes for the butter. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Time for coffee. Coffee time. Coffee? Coffee time. Coffee and a croissant. We also got a Lego June buggy from 1981. It is older than me and it's a complete set. It's not for me though. He's giving you a big cuddle. Oh, is that good, buddy? That's just bite. Oh, sorry, buddy. Oh, he's like, oh no. sorry, buddy. <laughs> what, have, what have you just realised, Becca? shoes on. I've got my cozy slippers on and I didn't want to take them off. I don't know why I did that. No, you don't do that. I'm so tired. No, put the poor cat down. No, I've got concrete dust in all my orifices. No, just my face. No. <laughs> I have concrete dust in my ears. Oh. Stop laughing at me.